Hi guys! For today's video, I'll be unboxing this Faber Castle College set which I bought from Shopee. If you're interested in buying, I've put the link in the description box. As stated in their shop, it's an old stock, so there's already some fraying and fading on the box itself. This is how the box overall looks like. There's some dents and some fraying, but overall it's undamaged. Let's open it up, and the first thing you'll see is the maintenance manual right here. The paper is kind of yellow because of the age, but here it'll tell you how to remove parts for cleaning and such. You can just refer to this manual if ever you want to clean it and you want a detailed uh, way method of how to do it. It'll tell you what parts to remove and what not. The actual component itself is made out of plastic. Luckily, this came to me undamaged since it was packed well. The plastic is kind of brittle because of the age, but otherwise, still in good condition. Upon opening this up, you're greeted with two levels. On the first level, you're greeted with one lettering guide for 0.3 mm TGIS Faber Castle Tech Pen. It's slightly more flexible than the Rotring brand, but I'd say it's on par quality wise. Here we have a vinyl eraser. It's old, and you can see that there's some damage on the label itself but it's still usable. This set also includes refill lead for the mechanical pencil in 0.5 HP. I've not tried this yet, but I can guess it's the same as their usual HP lead if they've not changed anything about it. There's also a TG1 clear plastic tube for unscrewing the tip of the pens. And here is the TG1S tuck pen in 0.3. Here's how the tip looks like. There's already some ink in there. I've already uh, put some ink so it's black inside. Unscrewing this, the barrel, you see the ink cartridge. This is an old 0.5 TK mechanical pencil. It's also quite old and the metal at the end has started to fade and speckle, but no rusting whatsoever. The eraser is also kind of stiff. Otherwise, the pen still works okay. You just need to use it a couple of times to break it in. Honestly, not a fan of the design and color of it, but you can't argue with the quality. It's lightweight and sturdy. The tip doesn't feel unstable, but it is somewhat shorter than my preference. Originally, the set included 0 0.25, 0 0.70, and 2, and one 0 0.3 freebie pen, but the seller was kind enough to modify it as per my request. Now I have 0 0.2, 0 0.7, and 1, plus a 0 0.3 free pen, all for the low price of 520 pesos, which is a steal, although there is no ink included since it's already expired, as in the shop description, which is no problem at all for me. The feel of the pen is very sturdy and fine quality. In comparison to Stedler, it's almost the same quality component, but Stedler is just slightly above. Compared to the Rotring Isograph, however, this is a hundred times better. I'd say Rotring is delicate compared to the Faber and Stedler. Not very good for long time use. Faber, however, has a sturdy tip. It's very stable.
so for 520 pesos, this whole set includes 4 TG1S tech pens, 1 vanilla eraser, 1 tachograph ruler, a refill for the mechanical pencil, a 0.5 mechanical pencil, and then a plastic tube for maintenance. I'd say it's very affordable. It's very budget friendly for students. If there's only one problem I see, it's that the case on the upper level has a tendency to scratch the pen's body, like right here. Otherwise, it's all excellent quality. I've prepared 200 GSM vellum board paper to test the line quality and compare it to other brands. Let's start with 0.3 from Faber-Castell. It glides no problem on smooth paper. I don't feel like it's going to break at use. It's very stable. The line quality is also quite good. I've encountered no problems so far. Second, I have this 0.2 rotring isograph. This has only been used for a year, but already I've had to tape the barrel and truthfully, this pen has already started to falter at the tip. There are times it's easily clogged no matter how many times I clean it. Oftentimes, it drips ink. Particularly, the tip is very fragile. You can't really put too much pressure on it in fear of breakage. It also blots very easily. Third, we have Stedler. There's not much to say. It's your typical quality tech pen. Smooth line quality, no blots or roughness. This 0.3 Stedler is very old. I think this has been used for around 5 years, but there's no major faults to it still. This pen actually has a bent tip because we've dropped it a few times, but it's still working very well. There's no problem with the inflow at all. Let's compare the 0.2 Faber with the 0.2 Rock Ring. Immediately, I can see that the rock ring is slightly thicker in line weight, but that might just be because of the age and the wear. Now let's try them on tracing paper. Similar to the previous try, Faber is smooth and good line quality. No dragging and the tip is firm and even. You can put some slight pressure on it and you won't feel as if it's really going to break. There's no problem with the ink flow and overall there's no problem at all. It's very good quality. The first time I used Rock Green, the experience was not as great. The ink flow wasn't great and the, it immediately blotted, even though it was new. Right now, it's more apparent that the ink flow is not as great and the tip is wobbly. It's quite rough and there's some dragging. You can't use too much pressure on it because you might break the tip. Stedler is by far the smoothest among the three. No dragging, roughness, or problems with an unsteady tip. You can put more pressure on Stedler than both front ring and Faber. But all good qualities, especially Stedler, comes with a very expensive price. Otherwise, it's very great quality and will last you long. As an overview, Faber is very highly above in terms of quality compared to Rotring, but it's still below Stedler just by a bit. To refill the ink, you unscrew the barrel and you pop off the cartridge. This part is kind of difficult because it's very tight. You need to put a lot of force. I'll be using Stedler ink, but I do recommend the Rotring one more because it has better quality. I don't have it right now because I just ran out. So I'll be using Stedler. Make sure you put back the ink cartridge and screw the barrel on very securely. Now here comes the fun part. You need to shake it up horizontally, not vertically, or else the ink will drip. 
You need to do this until the ink comes out. Now to clean this, you'll need to use the plastic tube that came in the set. You need to unscrew it until it pops off and very gently you take it out. Now you can run this in running water to clean it or maybe soak it if the ink has dried up. You put that back gently. Make sure that you don't drop it. Put it on very securely. And that's how you clean it. We've reached the end of the video and for me, it's a really good buy. It has great quality, great price point, really especially for students on the budget and overall it's really great. Thanks for watching, I hope you guys find this useful. Bye!